Covering St. Johns County where boaters might have to start paying a fee to use public boat ramps. The goal would be to reduce the financial drain on the county's general fund, which is used to cover most of the cost of maintaining the ramps. News 4 Jacks reporter Allison Henning spoke with some boaters and found mixed reaction to the idea. Across St. Johns County, there are 12 boat ramps open to the public free of charge. For some, these ramps are part of a weekly routine. How often do you use these ramps? Uh, I, use, I use the ramp here at Palmo probably once or twice a week. St. Johns County is looking into possibly charging boaters a user fee. Right now, the boat ramp program and maintenance is funded through two channels totaling $244,000. Voter registration fees cover $60,000. The county's general fund makes up the rest. During a commission meeting this week, the county's budgeting staff said a $5 user fee could cover the cost coming from the county's fund and ultimately put the responsibility of maintaining these ramps on county and out of county voters. They also discussed the possibility of an annual pass for people who live here. Robert Walsh comes to St. John's County from McClenny and says he wouldn't mind paying a daily fee. If it's going to go to keep the ramps maintenance up and stuff, I'm all for it. And I think I talk for, for a bunch of fishermen. We're willing to do that. It's our little bit of helping. Mac Tuttle, who lives here and uses the ramp every day, hopes there's a different solution. For somebody like me, it would be ridiculous to have to pay five to ten dollars every single day to use it, and you know, sometimes multiple times a day. Commissioners did not make any decisions this week, but they did ask county staff to explore different user fee options that will likely be presented in the next couple of months. In St. Johns County, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.